Hi, I'm Amanda and I am from Northern Michigan. I'm also in long-term recovery from opioid and substance use disorder, which for me means I have not touched alcohol or drugs since August 24, 2014. My early use of substances was very typical, I think, just experimentation and a little partying with friends. But as I got older, I got really angry with everyone. I was disillusioned by life, by my parents, by school, by the whole world. And after I got heartbroken in my late teens, I really gave up on the world, going to college, all of it. I began to use more and more and harder and harder drugs. I went from Vicodin to morphine to Oxycontin in months. I was absolutely fearless. I was young and strong and I thought I was smarter than everybody else. I began this really circular pattern. I would be sick of the life I was living, the unhealthy people, the darkness, the way everything hurt and everything was dirty. So I would try detox or treatment, or I would go to AA or all of the above. But I had so many issues. I needed so much help. I just couldn't get everything together fast enough and I would end up returning to active use. For me, it was like trying to figure out a combination lock. I might get one issue addressed, like my substance use, but having that one number wasn't enough to set me free. What I really needed was a more holistic approach, treatment for occupational issues, educational issues. I needed housing and transportation. And until I could get all of those variables addressed at once, I wasn't successful. One thing that was really helpful to me in my early recovery, and I never would have guessed, was exercise and running. I could just put my headphones on, blast my music, and just run off all the stress of early recovery. And I would feel great after I did it. Um, for different people, it's different things, but that was my escape. And the exercise actually helped me to rewire my brain from the act of use. Today, I am a senior in college on the National Honor Society. I am a mediocre vegetable farmer and I am a full-time cat mom to two of the most spoiled house cats you could ever imagine. I'm a homeowner, I'm a registered voter, but most importantly, I am better now. I love recovery because it has given me a purpose in my life and hope for the future. I'm speaking out now because recovery has changed my life and I want people to know that it is possible to get better. Thank you.